Hi everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your ultimate destination for mastering Salesforce without writing a single line of code. Today, we're diving into another essential aspect of Salesforce security and data management, creating sharing rules. Whether you're preparing for a Salesforce certification or looking to enhance your organization's data accessibility, this module is designed just for you. In this module, you will learn how to create sharing rules to extend access beyond the role hierarchy, ensuring that the right users have the appropriate access to Salesforce records. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped to configure sharing rules that facilitate collaboration while maintaining data security. Let's set the scene with a real world scenario. Currently, information in your Salesforce org is visible only to record owners and users above them in the role hierarchy. However, there are other users who also require access to specific records to perform their duties effectively. For example, members of the accounts receivable team need access to one opportunities and the recruitment team needs to collaborate on applicant interviewer and position records additionally vps need read access to all open positions your task is to create sharing rules that grant these specific access rights without compromising the overall security of your salesforce data all right let's get hands-on We'll start by creating sharing rules for opportunities, then move on to applicant, interviewer, and position records, and finally set up a public group for VPs and create a sharing rule for them. First, launch your Salesforce Playground by clicking the Launch button below at the bottom of the page or selecting your preferred org. First, we'll create a sharing rule for opportunities. From Setup, enter Sharing Settings in the Quick Find box and select Sharing Settings. In the Manage Sharing Settings for Pick List, select Opportunities. Under Opportunity Sharing Rules, click New. For the label, enter Share One Opportunities with Accounts Receivable. Choose based on criteria as the rule type. Set the criteria where the one field equals true. Then, share with the Accounts Receivable role and set the access level to Read Write. Click Save and then click OK on the confirmation message. Next, we'll create sharing rules for the recruitment team to collaborate on applicant, interviewer, and position records. Since these records are set to private for confidentiality, we need to ensure that recruiters can share information among themselves and that VPs have read access to all open positions. Start by creating a sharing rule for applicants. From Setup, enter Sharing Settings in the Quick Find box and select Sharing Settings. In the Manage Sharing Settings for Pick List, select Applicant. Under Applicant Sharing Rules, click New. For the label, enter Share Applicants between Recruiters. Choose Based on Record Owner as the rule type. Specify that applicant records owned by members of the recruiter role should be shared with the recruiter role granting red only access. Click Save and then click OK on the confirmation message. Repeat a similar process for interviewer records. Select interviewer from the Manage Sharing Settings for drop down. Under Interviewer Sharing Rules, click New. Enter Share Interviewers between recruiters as the label. Choose based on record owner. Specify that interviewer records owned by recruiters should be shared with the recruiter role with read-only access. Click Save and then OK. Now, create a sharing rule for position records. Select Position from the Manage Sharing Settings for drop-down. Under Position Sharing Rules, click New. Enter Share Positions between Recruiters as the label. Choose Based on Record Owner. Specify that position records owned by recruiters should be shared with the recruiter role with read write access click save and then okay next we'll create a public group for all vps to manage their access to open positions from setup enter public groups in the quick find box and select public groups 
click New and fill in the group details. For the label and group name, enter VPs. From the search pick list, select roles, choose all the VP roles in the list and click the add arrow to move them to the selected members list. Click Save. Finally, we'll create a sharing rule to give VPs read access to all open positions. From Setup, enter sharing settings in the Quick Find box and select Sharing Settings. Choose position from the Manage Sharing Settings for drop down. In the Position Sharing Rules section, click New. Enter Share Open Positions with VPs as the label. Choose Based on Criteria as the rule type. Set the criteria where the status field equals Open. Share with the VPs public group and set the access level to Read Only. Click Save and then OK on the confirmation message. Great work! You've just created sharing rules that allow the accounts receivable team to access one opportunities, enable the recruitment team to collaborate on applicant, interviewer, and position records, and granted VPs read access to all open positions. These sharing rules ensure that your Salesforce data is both accessible to the right users and secure. Now head back to the trailhead to verify your steps and earn some extra points, more points for you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the Declarative Academy for more Salesforce tips and tutorials, and ring the bell so you never miss an update. We'd also love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for joining me today. Keep up the great work on your Salesforce journey, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay declarative.